So in my last video, I looked at this nested radical here, and I would like to take a look at a more generalized version, which takes this form here. And what it is, is it's a nested radical in the form of x is equal to the nth root of b and then that is nested with the nth root of b and so on. And there are two simple methods to go about solving for x and I'd like to look at both of those methods. One of them is a recursive method and the other is a little more algebraic. And I'm going to be looking at the algebraic method first. So the first thing to note in the algebraic method is how we can write our radical. And the nth root of b can be written as b to the 1 over n. And using this here, oh dear, and applying it to this equation, we can yield the following. So with this bit, we've taken this nested radical and turned it into an infinite product. And with this infinite product, we can rewrite this to only have one b in the expression. And we're going to do the sum of all the power terms that appear up here in the upper row, just rewriting it with basic algebra. So with that, we can yield this equation. And we notice that we now have a series up here in the power position. And this series we can easily find a sum of, assuming that the absolute value of n is less than 1 we can just use this as a geometric series as shown here. So with what is here, we can show that this term that appears over here is just this series. And this is a simple geometric series. And knowing that is a simple geometric series with absolute value of n less than 1, we can find the exact sum of the entire series. And this is just 1 over n over 1 minus n. So we can identify this term here. Oops. No, not that. We can identify this power series up here as being equal to this piece over here. Using that, we can say that x is equal to b to the power of 1 over n divided by 1 minus n, which is a very nice closed form over here. Now we know the exact value of x. Because we know the value of x, we know the value of this nested radical. So we can easily conclude that the nested radical is just equal to this nice little closed form over here. Now that is the algebraic solution. I'd like to take a look at the other way of going about solving it, which is the recursive solution. So in the recursive solution, we're going to start out 
with the same arithmetic expression. And what we're going to do with that is to notice that this statement here implies this statement here. So the way that we see that is that if we were to uh, shave off the outer part and erase it, like just scratch that out, you'd still have the same piece on the interior, which is still equal to x. And you could do that, the same thing to this part here. So over here, that leads us to the conclusion that since this is equal to x over here, we can just plug it in for x in here. And repeating that over and over again will yield us this top expression as shown here. So now we're going to take advantage of this form here because this is going to be much easier to work with. Using this up here, we just take the nth power of each side to remove the radical, and we see that x to the nth power is equal to b times x. And using one more simple algebraic rewrite, We divide by x on each side to get b alone, and we get x to the n minus 1th power is equal to b. Now what we want to do is get x alone, not in any function. We don't want x to be to the n to the minus 1. So we simply take the n minus 1 root of each side over here. So we get x is equal to the n minus 1 root of b. And now we, that we have the value for x, we get the value for the series that we desired originally. And you can check on your own that These two expressions, this expression and this expression, are going to be equivalent for this series. So that is a nice way to go about doing the same problem using two somewhat different methods. One of them, the second one here, is shorter. And it will be applied in later videos as we'll find that more general methods like this are a little difficult to apply. So I'll be able to cover that in the next installation of the series as we introduce a new term into the equation and then combine the concepts that have already been gone over.